I don't think anything in this latest Star Wars news, like the past 24 hours Star Wars news, is anything too spoilery. But if you're one of those people that freak out about the littlest uh, of leaks or anything, like if I were to say Ahsoka wears a green shirt in episode three of her live action series, then don't stay past sexy Papa Palpatine. I just, I don't want to incur your anger because I love you. You're fulfilling your destiny. Okay, let's start with what I think is the best leak so far. So the Ahsoka live-action Disney Plus Star Wars TV series currently starring Rosario Dawson, but uh, please, please, I love you so much, stop doing things that might get you fired by Disney. They, they're a little extreme with stuff, okay? Just... Just be happy, just smile all the time, you, you love everyone. Anyways, we got a potential description leak for her series, which you're gonna hear it and go, okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought her series was gonna be about, so don't shoot the messenger. Okay, you can shoot the messenger, I deserve it. All right, so here was the leak description. Ahsoka Tano is on the hunt for the evil Grand Admiral Thrawn in the hope it will help her locate the missing Ezra Bridger, the young Jedi that disappeared with Thrawn many years ago. So I've been saying that's most likely what her series is going to be about, and I'm sure if I watched other Star Wars channels, they've been parodying the same thing. So I don't... I don't know, I can't take this as a, oh yeah, this is 100% a description leak for her show, because it just seems like something anyone could cobble together and be like, oh yeah, for sure, this this is what it is. So, I, I don't know, I do, I agree, I agree, <laughs> agree that it is the most likely thing that's going to happen in her series. I'd be interested, since there were leaks about Thrawn and Ezra having their own live-action Disney Plus Star Wars TV series, if maybe their series was set further back in time and them surviving in the Unknown Regions, and then we had the Ahsoka series happening at the same time and her searching for him, because that would actually be kind of uh, cool. Maybe if they do the Ahsoka series, have a season of her searching with Sabine to find Ezra, and then we have season one of an Ezra Thrawn show and them actually surviving in the Unknown Regions, and then maybe a big reveal is, okay, that show was set many years before the Ahsoka one, and she eventually does find him. That's just kind of my thoughts. If you disagree or if you want the Ahsoka series to be about something else, I'd be interested to hear your, your thoughts on it or your theories. Um, I would be very interested to see if she interacts with a, a CGI Luke Skywalker. Obviously, inverse, it wouldn't be a CGI uh, Luke Skywalker, but Mark Hamill coming back and then, you know, doing the movie magic. Next, a very recent photo of Ewan McGregor shows that not only is he looking swole as fuck, but also he has that nice weathered uh, tattooing look of being out in the sun in a desert, and it's just, it's getting me so much more excited. Also, he has the sexy uh, Obi-Wan beard going on. Not that I like Obi-Wan, he is definitely a maniac that chops off limbs. 100% not okay, that dude deserved everything that happened to him. That was bad. But I kind of wonder if they're going to age him up a bit more because uh, he's 50 and just looking fabulous. And I know he has a ton of money to make himself look fabulous like most people in Hollywood do. Uh, so I'm not trying to be like, oh, wow, amazing genetics, which he, he probably does too because he's a gorgeous man. But for 50, that dude is looking hot, hot, hot. So in five years, we're led to believe he's, he's going to look like uh, this and then another five years after that. Uh, like this. So are they gonna gray his hair up? Maybe something really fucked up happens and it just ages him super fast because... I don't know, I guess life on Tatooine just really fucks you up fast. <laughs> wow. But seriously, he he's looking so, so good. I cannot wait for the Kenobi series. Next, Skywalker Academy has been trademarked. But before you get so super duper excited that you shit yourself, unfortunately, it's for a clothing line, which is very disappointing. Uh, I would like to learn more about Luke's 
You know, Jedi Academy, I think there are great ways to do it. If we don't want a live action version, we could do it in more comics and books. Also seeing uh, Grogu being trained by him, I think would be really great. Also since, you know, Grogu can tell him, hey, I was around during the time of the, the Jedi and, and with them, and this is what they would do, and you probably shouldn't do it because they were just a bunch of fuck ups. I guess if you're looking for more clothing line stuff for Star Wars, this is exciting for you. I would love some Skywalker Academy shirts and stuff. Wait, it's not Skywalker Academy because Rey took the last name Skywalker and she's beginning a Jedi Academy, right? This is like focusing on Luke's Jet. I didn't, ooh, huh. Well, now I have to rethink everything, fuck. Next, Kevin Kynard, who is the composer for the animated Bad Batch series, which comes out next month in May. He talked a bit about not only him scoring the episodes, but also apparently a standout, outstanding character. So here's what he said, and you can tell me if you got any hype from this. There's some really cool new characters, and there's one character in particular that's really, really fantastic and is going to be another standout character for years to come in Bad Batch. You'll hear that one character has a very strong theme. In fact, I did a recording just of that character's theme that will come out sometime. And it's not to picture I very rarely, well, I don't think I've ever done this really, released a piece of music that wasn't written because of an assignment. I really liked the way this theme came out. So we went and recorded it with a full orchestra. And I'm being so careful not to say gender or names right now. I think a lot of people are thinking that it's Omega, but I, I, I guess we'll end up seeing. And by the way, he made a comment that makes it sound like there are at least 14 episodes. There might be more. So here's his quote on that. I'm working on episode 14 now, and I hope I can say that. I think I can. I just did a big action cue. It's in a jungle scene. I'm having a great time with it. So he didn't say I'm working on the final episode. He just said I'm working on episode 14 right now. So maybe there's more uh maybe we get like 20 plus i know i'm being super greedy but i'm gonna continue being that way it is a beautiful time to be a star wars fan if you really look at it because starting by the end of this year we're pretty much going to have non-stop star wars all the time i guess if you're a marvel fan it's a good time for you too but uh, you, you know dc fangirl sorry so thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and a special extra thanks to everybody that supports the Empire. I hurt you.